Hello everybody and welcome to this week's episode of 2GW. We're kicking things off here in Miami, Florida. Yeah. Kicking things off with a championship match. Because there's the old sleepy lady. I still have no idea who that is. Yeah. Anyway. She's title announcement lady. And speaking of titles, we are kicking things off with a title, which like I just said. And he's here again. The old man at San Francisco. The old man San Francisco. Old man sexual favors. <laughs> anyway, old man Street Fighter is old here. Old man sexual frustration. Old man's salad fingers. <laughs> That's an oldie. There they are. Speak, speaking of oldies, he's old. Yeah. But he's still here. And apparently, he's going to be challenging once again for that minimum wage championship. Because I guess old man Street Fighter has been going around saying that he, like... He doesn't have like he doesn't have much time left as an in-ring competitor. He wants to go out the right way. He doesn't want to be remembered for being that guy who retired after getting his back annihilated. Yeah. So I mean, he wasn't pinned at the Super Show, so it's only fair that he gets his one-on-one -on -one shot here. Can Old Man Street Fighter go out on top? Can he claim that minimum wage title from this man right here? Phil Ace. Resident church man. The other resident dad man. And gotta go fast shoes man. Gotta go fast? <laughs> anyway. Yo, he's like a... He's the Chrysler. No. <laughs> uh... Anyway, uh, it's, it's Denver. <laughs> Yo, he's always looking up. Because he's looking to the heavens. Yeah, that's true. Like, fair enough. <laughs> Ace, a record-tying three-time minimum wage champion. He keeps his head up, his chin up. And the the belt phasing through his shirt. Because his shirt has built-in belt loops. Sure. Only for the, the fanciest of churchgoers. <laughs> ah, that, that cost a... a, a the, don the, the, the donation place. That's all I was looking for. Do Christians wear flannel? Yeah, it might be like, I don't know, sacrilege. <laughs> <laughs> anyway! Anyway. There here comes he old man's structured financial. Here comes old man's sour flips. <laughs> old man's sour flips. That's a great name. It's like an OG name. And there... There is the minimum wage champion. Scratching his butt on the turnbuckle again. I mean, at least the, it's the bottom one. That's the one nobody touches. Unless they're laying down. Oh, and there's the cool flip. This man. Look at, he did the cool belt flip in his hand. That man's slick as hell. Yeah. Heaven. It's heaven or hell. Duel one. Let's rock. Shout out to Arxis. Can we get that deal where we can have dumb wrestling on the Arxis <laughs> engine? <laughs> That'd be super sick. <laughs> and there is the greatest champion of all time, George. Can I have a launcher to air combo to final word? That'd be pretty sick, actually. <laughs> and Here's here we go! My Street Fighter kicking things off with a snap suplex. Lady in the front row there taking a, taking a picture. Probably for insurance reasons. <laughs> Maybe. For witness purposes. I think you say witness protection. <laughs> also, that maybe that. He's uh, he started to get on the offensive, but old man Street Fighter. Oh, there's our, then another head scissors takedown. Scissors takedown. Take to the back. Old man Street Fighter, and a pretty honorable fellow. I mean, he is the first ever dumb champion. First ever dumb champion. I mean, yo. I mean, I, I know what that means. It's out of context. Out of context, it sounds, it sounds really bad. Yeah. So, Old Man Street Fighter, the first ever dumb wrestling world champion. Ooh, old big elbow drop. Ace of four dumb wrestling world champion. He, Ace the first ever 2GW world champion. He's going to that top rope really quick. Right, he's going to go for that splash. I'm not sure if I get back to his feet. Ooh, Whoa! There it is. Cross body. Moving the arm back. 
It's a very painful looking position. Mm. Especially when you're old and brittle. Mm. How many bones did he break there? 16. But cover! In his leg. One! One. <laughs> well, he wasn't even going for the legs. He broke his foot. Yesterday. Can oh! The oh, cutter! There's a, there's a cutter. Into a quick cover. One! Two! Two. Two. Can this old man really have what it takes to keep up with the youth of today? I mean, he's doing a fairly good job so far. He's gotten a fair but fair amount of offense. Dare I say more offense than he got in in that triple threat. Because mm. I don't know whether like it was the nerves or what. Because he, he really didn't do much in that triple threat. He just kind of got in the way. Pops up to the top rope. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, here he comes! Oh. That splash, there's a cover. One! One. Two, three, and there you have it. Your winner and still minimum weight champion is Ace. Old Man Street Fighter, he has gone through many a war, but he could not take the pressure of a moderately sized black man come crashing down upon him. Yeah, the youth of today is too youthful, or he's too old. And now Ace can... Leave the ring with his title as well. Old Man Street Fighter probably yells, Get off my lawn. <laughs> probably. But congratulations to Ace once again retaining that minimum wage championship. The question is who will challenge this man next? That's yet to be determined. Hmm. We will see. And it's his next challenger is George. <laughs> it's George. I mean. Look at that. Do you see that look on his face? He looks spiteful. <laughs> Hello, everybody, and welcome back to 2GW. We are here in Rosemont, Illinois. I don't think we've ever been here before. Yeah, this is South of it's a new, It's a new place. It's a new day, and it's, it's a truck. It's a truck. It's a new truck. Yes, it is. <laughs> <That's>, <laughs> I mean, yo, it's truck. Yeah. His gimmick is truck. And, hey, what's your gimmick? I'm, I'm truck. Yeah. I mean, he's got flannel, so he must go to church. Yeah. He looks baby. He looks drunk. He's, he looks kind of wobbly. Is, when is he not drunk? I mean, that's what that's what people from uh, Kentucky. I mean, it looks like he came just off the like the. He came from a moonshine run. Yeah, it looks like he. <laughs> Like, someone just stopped him from doing his favorite banjo solo, and he just finished his last bottle of moonshine, and drove his last ATV off a ramp over a lake. <laughs> What's that one doing here? Sure. I don't know. Oh, oh boy! No, oh no! Here he is! The boat cop! The spirit of Freddie Mercury! <laughs> Oh, that'll never get old. Boy, truck and boat cop in one match? Oh, joy. Please pardon my raging boner. <laughs> <laughs> I, mean, I mean, your brand took some of my best talent. Why couldn't you take this guy? I mean... We can't take Boat Cop. Boat Cop is a league above his own. I thought you were going to say Boat Cop is illegal. <laughs> I mean, he might be illegal in 17 states. But that's... Not, none of that is our fault. I mean, still looks like his eyes are falling out. <laughs> it does. Sorry, Brady Mercury. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, not Sorry. Your, your memory lives on in Boat Cop. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we got a truck and we have Boat Cop. The only thing we're missing is not Aaron. Aaron? I was going to say the only thing we're missing is a charismatic slab of meat, but... If you're, refer mean, if you're referring to one Craig Beef... Uh, unfortunately, he handed in his notice a few weeks ago and hasn't returned our calls. Oh, how sad. It is sad. Craig Beef <laughs> was... He had charisma. He had talent. He had marketability. 
Get it, Mark. I, I, you're gonna say Mark Henry. <laughs> I mean, he was a he was a big, big black dude like Mark Henry. He had Mark Henry. Sexual beef. <laughs> no. Se sexual beef with. No. And it's Aaron. It's Aaron. Aaron's here. This is a very. This is a very odd triple threat match. This is very odd. I mean, we have we have truck, we have boat cop, and we have who was the longest reigning 2GW world champion? Who is now reduced to fighting fodder? Pretty much. I mean, he had he fi he fought Nate at the Super Show in a submissions only steel cage. What a match that you would think would heavily favor him. And he's still lost. And he's still lost. The resident dad man came through in the end. Hmm. Proving that, you know, Nate winning that title was no fluke. Yes. That sounded very proper. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yes. Anyway, Aaron is here in a triple threat. I mean... It was in a triple threat that he lost the 2GW World Championship. Now let's see what he can do. When and there goes Boat Cop. There top. goes Boat Cop, and here comes Truck. Like a truck. Like a truck. And Truck on the offensive. Truck already holds a win over Aaron. Boat Cop's doing his thing. Okay, there okay, we go. Okay. <clears throat> Grabs Aaron. Oh, big shoulder, shoulder check. check. Be fair, these are three pretty big dudes in this match. Oop. And countered into it. Yep. His own suplex. Goes after truck. Holds the arm back. Ooh. Gonna punch the armpit. That's like right, right in the nipple. I don't think you want to touch there. There's a headbutt. Oh, oh god! He just kicked a boat cop. <laughs> Kick his hat off! <laughs> He's not fighting back though. Scoop? Nope. No, here comes Aaron. Big clothesline. Boat cop oh. once again rolling to the outside. Aaron left alone to fight the truck. And the wolf, the lone wolf take down the automotive asshole. <laughs> I mean, yo, Truck seems like a pretty decent guy. Here comes Boat Cop, reaching at nothing. Oh. <laughs> he, he grabbed Aaron, <laughs> but Truck crashed into them. Hey, I mean, that's what happens when you let a truck go crash. You've been hit and by... George gets knocked Everyone's over. Everyone's getting barreled over here. There's a backbreaker by Boat Cop. Aaron rolls to the outside. The nautical nuisance known as Boat Cop. <laughs> The nautical officer. The. The. Aquatic. Acquaintance. <laughs> and Aaron's back in. The, the, the law of the high seas. Unfortunately. <laughs> oh, looks like a suplex coming from Aaron. Oh. The long boat of the law. <laughs> Suplex. Stalling suplex. And Truck, not a small man. The right hand from Boat Cop. Oh, Aaron throws Boat Cop to the, to the turnbuckle. He sets him up in the Tree of Woe. The Tree of Woe. Oh, that foot choke. Uh-oh. Oh, no. Aaron looking to end this quick. Can He's Truck get back raised. in? Truck, got better, the truck hole. better hurry up. He's here, got it here I come! No! Oh, no! He was he was just he was a second too late! Oh no! Oh, oh no, and your winner is Aaron! Truck was a second too late! Oh he can't be happy about that. Oh, he was visibly pissed. But Aaron able to overcome the odds! Looks like Truck may need a tuning job. Looks like Boat Cop is sunk. <laughs> I mean, hopefully not. So we need to keep the dream afloat. How... How did we lose Craig Beef? 
but Bunk Cop is still here. I, I don't know. Maybe he just didn't have the charisma. Craig Beef had char had charisma like gravy. <laughs> gravy? Sure. Hello everybody and welcome back to 2GW. We're here in the nation's capital. Oh boy. Washington DC. I hope Dump's not in the audience. Don't worry, we got a sign out front with a picture and not let him in. Okay. Anyway, here's a man that we will let in. I mean Except for well most of the time, for except for those couple <laughs> weeks that Carl Winslow suspended him. Yeah. AJ Sterling is here. And he looks undeterred. Hmm. And he's gonna You're gonna say undetermined. I mean it could be. I mean, yo, this man He he's he's Trying to get back on the up and up. Yeah, I mean, he, he had a frustrating few months. But, yo, the power of the waifu coat. Yep. Never let him down. That old waifu coat. The old waifu coat. It's a good coat. I mean, it's an okay coat. It's the best coat. It's, it's the best coat in all of dumb wrestling. I mean, the design choice is a little questionable. Right I mean, now. yo, you got a great ninja on the front. That's... Mm. Honorable member of the Shiranui Ninja Clan. She is only tits. And you got a a good-hearted but kind of dim-witted pink-haired girl on the back. I mean, she's at, she's at least better than the one in the front. Is she? Yeah. The honorable member of Hanoka Fu. <laughs> but regardless of coats, AJ Sterling is here, and he's going to be going one-on-one -on -one with longtime rival. Making his way to the ring any second now. There he it's is. It's Jeff. It's Jeff, the gluten free gladiator. <laughs> the fruit kick. Uh, double fruit. <laughs> it's Jeff the vegan, the gluten free gladiator, the plant based pugilist, the green meanie, the pale faced paladin. The, the veggie tail shirt. Yeah. Anyway, it's Jeff. Jeff the Vegan unsuccessful in his pursuit of the minimum wage championship. The bearded broccoli. That is like the bearded Brock Lesnar. Like, Jeff's not that big. <laughs> Maybe Jeff will get a, like a tattoo, like that sword tattoo that Lesnar has, but it's just a carrot. It's just, just a broccoli stock. And there's the bell! Here we go! There's a lockup. Starting with an arm twist. Gotta kick the leg in. Oh. Jeff, oh, Jeff fighting back into his own arm bar. Very nice. Quick reversal. Flips out of it. Back to their feet. Picks him up. Oh, atomic drop. Dropping Jeff right on his unmentionables. Right on his cabbages. Here's a face buster. His cabbages. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. Cabbages are large. I mean, his his Brussels sprouts. Yeah, there you go. There you go. His 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 Brussels, his Brussels. Yeah, don't rustle the Brussels. Oh, drop, drop kick. kick. Going for a kick. He's a sidestep kick to the back. Everybody, nope. Flaps the ears. Do a hip toss. Just going to the middle rope. He's getting hyped up. The vegan man's gonna fly! Here he comes! And there he goes. <laughs> AJ sidestepped it. <clears throat> no, nope. Jeff countered. Oh! Hits him with the eat your veggies. Throws his face to the ground. Yeah. There's an elbow. elbow. Second elbow. Second elbow. And a third, third elbow. elbow. People like their moves in threes. I mean, does he even eat his elbows? Do you eat your elbows? Of course. I mean, it's, a good, it's a good macaroni. Yeah. I mean, I prefer me some tortellini myself. Oh, suplex? Nope. Jump with a knee to the top of the head. Takes the leg. Dragon screw. Jeff has been on a real roll as of late, picking up a, a few key wins and... Might be able to pick up another one here. Oh, right off the leg. That fireman's carry into the kick. I don't know if the V for vegan signs. 
could mean victory. I mean, we get it. You don't like meat. You don't have to shove it in our face. <laughs> God. He scoops him. Scoop slam. Hops over. Long, took the long way. Whoa. Well, oh, okay. okay. I was say, he, took, he took the long way to climb to that top rope. At least it wasn't over committal. So with another face buster. He hops over again. Goes to the same corner. That same corner. Take Let's two! again! Oh, there's the double stomp. Hits him with the moonsault stomp. For the cover. That could be it. Mm -hmm. One! One. Two. 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 That vegetable press. The the garden stomp. The garden weasel. The the the, the gopher. Springboard. <laughs> the gopher springboard. <laughs> oh, he scoops him. Whoop! Oh, nope. Out of it. Into the reverse DDT. Let's see if we can get something going here. Oh, wait a minute. Angle oh, slam. Angle slam. Hashtag thank you, Kurt. Nice. Oh, he's looking, he's looking for that look in his eye. Oh, kick, kick to, to the, the midsection. Mid off, off the ropes. ropes. Curb, Curb stomp. stomp. Eat your greens on the floor. He's just eating Do pavement. the dinosaur. Nice. One, two, two. two. Both men trading finishers. Again, basically a, a chin full of canvas. I was gonna say dirt, but there's no dirt. Yep. Clothes lines. Oh, body splash. Off the ropes again. Goes off the ropes. Oh. Another clothesline. Into the spring up. He's got the momentum oh, spear. Spear. Do a quick cover. One, One two. 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 <clears throat> What's up? up, Jeff? Jeff has got to be woozy there. Oh, wait a minute. Kick to the midsection. Off, Off the ropes. ropes again. Curb, Curb stomp. stomp. Nice first goes Jeff again. Jeff is uh, busted. Jeff is busted. One. Two. 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 The power of vegetables. The power of foot to face technique. Bring it to that top rope. Big risk here. Still got to get up. Jeff is Ooh. pretty close. Whoop. Hammer strike. Missed it. Nope. Stumbles oh. over, but then, oh. Went for a takedown. Nice counter there by AJ. Oh. 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 Spin off powerbomb. Uh, yeah, knee. Ooh, drops the knee. Right to that cut. Right to the, the wound. Precision strike. Spear oh, again! Spear! That could be it. That could be it. Cover. One, two, three! And there you have it. Your winner is AJ Sterling. He got the kick it in the second gear there, and Jeff really couldn't keep up. Hmm. Veggies will get you. Yeah. Eat, eat your reds too. Eat your reds? Yeah, cause meats. Okay. I thought you, I wasn't sure if you said breads or reds. I'm like, <laughs> I mean, bread is good too. Yeah. But a convincing win for AJ Sterling, and what I could possibly probably only see a minor setback from Jeff. Mm. Jeff has had some major momentum as of late. I'm sure he'll regroup from this. And there's foreign announced guy. <laughs> anyway. Yeah. Well, uh, that'll, that'll do it for this week's episode of 2GW. Tune in in just a few days when we get Ladies' Night on Vendetta going underway. Yeah. Yeah. With brand new possessor of the Warfenheimer, Whoopi Goldberg. <laughs> I was going to say brand new possessions. I'm like, wait, what? Nice. <laughs> anyway, anyway. Let's, let's see you Friday. Let's see you. Bye.